The Queen Anne's County community is coming together today to show their appreciation and support for their local police officers in the first annual Back the Badge event. Local businesses and individuals from the community have donated to this event so that the local officers can have a free lunch. The Smoke, Rattle and Roll food truck is parked here at the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff for the event, which gives people an opportunity to stop by, thank their local police officers, and have lunch with them. This is a huge thing for us in the community. We have so much community support, and this is just another example of a community business that has stepped up to show their support for law enforcement. Everywhere I go within the community, from the community to the businesses, they really appreciate what the men and women of Queen Anne's County do every single day. There's not a member of those agencies that wouldn't put their life on the line for any one of our community members. I think the interaction with law enforcement and the community, the same as we do with any community event, you know, just so that the kids can come out and meet a police officer, meet a deputy sheriff, meet a correctional officer, a state trooper. Um, it's important that we create that dialogue and that we have that partnership and relationship, especially with our future, our kids. It started with a Facebook picture that Josh had, um, back the badge, and I commented on it. And then I sent him a message and said, can I donate some money? And you, next time a police officer comes up to your food truck, give them a free lunch. He said, why don't we do it for everybody? So we went around in the community and started asking some people in the community if they wanted to help support it. And it evolved into a whole day of appreciation of the local police officers. It's important for communities, especially small ones like ours, and, and having you know a state police, county police, and a local police all here so close. You know, we have an opportunity to touch a lot of a lot of lives as far as you know being positive with, with the police force and letting them know that we care about them. So it's just something small that we can do, and uh, the community you know backed us up big time, and and um, you know we're able to be here all day, and, and no matter what shift, as long as they got a badge, they're able to come through and, and come and eat for free. We, we kind of decided maybe that we might do this once a year. For QAC TV, I'm Mallory Drummond, and thanks for watching.